In this lecture, we would understand existential theory and this theory was propounded by Rollo May. Now, Rollo May based his theory on the four concepts which is being creative, ordinary, rebellion and innocence. Now, the May's life itself is really interesting. May was diagnosed of tuberculosis and it was then when May was diagnosed of tuberculosis, May understood that death is near. And now that fear of death gave the concept which led to this existential psychology and the origin of existential psychology. So May is called as the father of existential psychology. Also, he was the first PhD to graduate from Columbia University. So May's idea was human require freedom and a meaning but he believed as through his own experiences that there is anxiety and this anxiety looms up when this anxiety is a result of uncertainty that exists in life and a fear of death now fear of death and this uncertainty leads to anxiety so may believed that sometimes being uh, or having the fear of the death helps us to understand that we need to have certain emotions coming through. So he talked about the concept of being free and he said freedom is essential and a meaning for it is again essential. So the idea was the state of existence how do we exist so human exists under four stages as we talked so those are the four stages the first stage according to him was innocence that means when a child a small child whatever the child does you won't say that it was child's mistake you would say the child is innocent child does not know how to talk how to walk how to behave and it is just the innocence so that is what is the form of existence so he classified that there are four forms of existence that occur and his concept of existential psychology focused not only about being but it focused about becoming so it's not how you be but how you become so that's a way through which you understand what is the idea what is the the desire how do you uh, proceed for self-fulfillment what are the social norms what are the ideologies that are to be taken down from one generation to another what are the aspects that are to be carried forward from one generation to another and how do you take the decision what is the sense of self so sense of self is again extremely important to understand this theory he also said that when we say human needs freedom and meaning then this meaning comes through what this meaning comes from myth that means what are myth myth are those stories that make sense out of our lives so any story that has come down from generations you heard your parents grandparents your grand grandparents saying those those becomes the guiding narrative this is how you have to behave on these occasions these are the practices that need to be embarked these are the practices that need to be followed these are the practices that shouldn't be followed so those are guiding narratives and sometimes they also establish themselves as identities so myths are the stories and human require ex, uh, human require freedom and that freedom along with meaning which comes through myths or the stories the narratives or the identities are the basis for uh, existentialism of human being so we decide it's not just we be but how we become and we have a path of self-fulfillment we understand that what we have done is correct and that's how we can uh, provide more detailed information to our future generations to our next generation and this is how uh, we give meaning to our life so how meaning to the life is given what is the purpose of the life is well explained and understood under the existential psychology 